Good morning, and welcome to the commencement exercise celebrating the class of 2017. It is with extreme pleasure that we are here today to celebrate this group of young men and young women as they have finished their journey here in the Camden City Public Schools and make their mark on to their future. At this time, will you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Thank you, you may be seated. Today we have 56 lovely young people who will be graduating and completing their time in the Camden District. Graduates, you may be seated. Today marks a special time where we remember the first day of kindergarten and dressing them up and sending them on their way. And now, they got dressed this morning, donning caps and gowns, ready for the world. We've taken the time to build their confidence, build their character, fill their heads with knowledge, and then send them on their way to a great opportunity. These students have all been accepted to college, and will be moving forward in their careers of their choices. At this time, I'd like to call forward the superintendent and he will introduce the board members he has with him today. So good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm actually going to, after I give very, very brief remarks, invite up our board president who will say a few words. Let me just begin by saying it is such uh, a special moment to be able to see familiar faces from Jan Alexis to Josh, who's a personal hero of mine, and so many of the other students who I've gotten to know over these last four years to be able to recognize and honor you. Uh, Creative Arts Morgan Village is a model of excellence as it relates to empowering students to responding to their voices and incorporating their perspective into the school itself. And I feel that each and every time I step inside of this school. And so on that note, I want to recognize uh, Principal Dr. Co Harrington uh, and the staff here. And let's give them a round of applause. So graduating seniors, I just want to say three very brief things. Whenever I'm at a high school graduation, I think back to my principal, Mr. Joya, my track coach, Mr. Pruitt, uh, my English teacher, Mr. Klausner. These are people who I still think about almost 20 years later. And so the first thing I want to say is be mindful of those people here who have touched you, supported you, because ultimately you got yourself to this point, but you certainly had a little bit of help. So keep those people in your heart, say thank you, and, and forever remember how they contributed to your success. Second, be thinking of those individuals outside of this school building, outside of the jazz and the choir and extracurricular activities, uh, whether that's a parent, a grandparent, a sibling, a friend, who have helped support you along the way and keep them in your heart. And the last thing I wanna say is, some of you all are, all of you are going off to college, some of you are going further away than others. Uh, my encouragement to you, and I'm sure you've heard this from others, is. I hope you come back to Camden and help this and help make Camden an even greater city. And you contribute by being a teacher, a mentor, a coach, a superintendent, a board member, a mayor even. Uh, and I just hope that you can help make, shape this city uh, in the way that you know best. Um, that's it for me. Let me welcome up our board president, say a few words. Congratulations, class of 2017. Good morning. I bid you on behalf, I greet you on behalf of our Camden City Advisory Board.
First, I would just like to acknowledge the parents, the guardians, the grandparents, aunts, uncles, sisters, brothers who have worked to help to get you to where you are today. And I would just like to say to you, congratulations on the endeavors that you have put forth. Look at this beautiful class of students that we have sitting before us today. To the students, as you graduate from high school, receiving your high school diploma is a very special accomplishment. Your wonderful examples of what someone can achieve through practice and hard work, you have a lot of, to be proud of, and we are proud of you too. As you reflect upon this special day, we hope that you realize that the steps that you took to reach this goal will help shape your future. Each challenge you've met has made you stronger, more determined, and more courageous. Although we don't know exactly what the future holds for you, we know that you'll succeed because you're that kind of an amazing student. Tomorrow, the world belongs to you. I pray for a hedge of protection around each and every one of you. Go out, go forth, and empower this world because that's who you are. God bless each and every one of you. We will now have a selection by one of our students, John White. Can Bubby come up to the stage? I can't. Can you turn A on? You know the words, right? I got them right here. All right. I'm sorry. One last time. One last Shut up. <laughs> You could be loose. But 
Remember giants, they do fall. Speak over yourself. Encourage yourself. Jesus. Oh, as I minister to you. Oh, I minister to myself. I'm sorry we didn't have Kier's name on the program, but Mr. John White and Mr. Kier Fenderson, thank you so much. Phenomenal. And Keith, thank you. Kier wasn't even a vocal music major until, what, two years ago? So I call him our Luther Vandross, so thank you. Yes, we are encouraged. We are encouraged because of the students who are sitting on this stage today who have done great things while attending the Creative Arts Morgan Village Academy. Many of them have become great leaders already at, at such an early age. So we are extremely proud of our students. We are extremely proud of their accomplishments. If you look at your program and see the many scholarships that our students have received, the thousands and thousands of dollars that they have received. Um, I, I have to say, first of all, before I begin to confer the diplomas, I want to thank Josh Sims. He wrote me a beautiful letter. And all the years that I've been principal, I, I, I got it yesterday in my mailbox and I get a little filled up about it because um, all the years I've been a principal, being a principal and a teacher, really two different things. 
And sometimes as a principal, because you are the leader of the school, you take the, the hits a little harder. So when Josh wrote me that letter thanking me for some of the things that I didn't even really know that he noticed. So thank you, Josh. I really appreciate that. And it really, um, it really meant, means a lot. I will keep that forever. And when I'm a little old lady on the beach somewhere, I will, I will always cherish that uh, letter. It means so much. And I'd just like to thank those students who really went that extra mile this year. I, for, one, for instance, a student, Annalita Hernandez, the day after the prom, she was in here, you know, you're out late at the prom and doing things. She was in here filling out information for a scholarship. George Acevedo, just wonderful students who go that extra mile. Viola Scott, known her since a little girl to watch her grow into such a beautiful young woman. And Tatiana, so many of our students who are doing so many great things. I don't like to mention one or two when I can't mention everyone's name, but all of you have so many special gifts. And I want you to remember that. So many of you haven't even tapped in to the gifts that you have and the people that you can become. But you have to remember, you have to keep your mind clear in order to tap into those gifts. And I won't talk about what I know some people may be doing as outside recreation, but I want to say to you, that outside recreation isn't going to help you get you to where you need to go. You have to have a clear mind, a clear spirit to, in order to go where I know you can go. So my prayer for all of you is that you will be able to follow the path that God has placed in front of you and that you will always remember that and that when other forces like outside recreational type forces come your way that you'll be able to fight against those forces and stay in that positive path. So without continuing to talk because you know I can talk a long time I won't go any further because I know you want your diplomas. So again, students, I am proud of each and every one of you who are sitting there. Not just one or two, each and every one of you. Some of you who I've had struggles with and some of you who are so quiet, you almost don't know you're there. You are beautiful, each and every one of you. Continue on the path that you're on continue to strive for those scholarships. You've been accepted into so many colleges and universities. I can't be proud of what we've accomplished at the Creative Arts Morgan Village Academy, which leads me into this piece before we confer further diplomas. I want to thank Ms. Nyawu. I would like her to come out because without Ms. Nyawu, if Ms. Nyawu could just step up for just a second, I know she doesn't want to, but she's going to step out. Because Ms. Nyawu has gone, she chases the students down to make them apply for scholarships. We, I, I can't add up, I think Ms. Nyawu, what's the number? <laughs> 78,000 and counting. $78,000 worth of scholarships in this school. Absolutely phenomenal. And it is the work of Miss Anyabu who spends hours here after work, hours, relentlessly working for our students. So I have to say thank you, Miss Anyabu. I do have some roses and a plaque right here. I meant to bring it up with me to give to Miss Anyabu, but thank you so much for all that you have done. And we are just hoping that Ms. Anyabu will remain with us here, you are. will be back here with us in September. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So at this time, we are going to confer our students' diplomas. Please stand, students. And if we have the board members and the superintendent and everyone please stand in the line so that the students can shake your hands.
presenting the class of 2017. George Acevedo. Jan Lexis Arizaga. Adelina Hernandez. Shakila Clark. Aisa Jones. Joshua Sims. Tatiana Ramos. Jacinia Hernandez. Kayla Lopez. Viola Scott. Naomi Banks. Jalen Bell. Kelsey Bolden. Iane Brooks. Tyler Karstarfin. Quatir Coleman. John Connolly. Isaiah Dixon Wahid. Kayla Evans Kier Fenderson Anna Flores Leslie Garcia Anna Flores Alhuda Gibbs Moses Holiday. Monisha Harper. Rashawn Harris. That's Rashawn Lamar Harris. Naima Hazard.
Ayana Herbert. Rashad Rashan Hornsby. Diana Jackson. Jennings Elise Knight Justin Lane Alana Lee Basina Marquez Imani Imani Martin Shayla Matthews. <laughs> Johan Mendez. Jana O'Neill. Nairi Pitts Brandon Ramos Alexi Resto Tyree Risher Chanel Richardson Victor Rivera <laughs> Melissa Roman <laughs> Naima Sabri Lataya Smith <laughs> Hanisha Smith Johnson Lewis V. 
Vargas. Hannah Jubilee Watkins. Duran Wharton Jr. Jean White Jr. Having met all the state standards for the state of New Jersey, I present, I present to you the graduating class of Creative Arts Morgan Village Academy 2017. You may turn your tassel. You may turn your tassel. bunch. So at this time, we're going to hear parting words from the valedictorian of the class, Mr. George Acevedo. Hello, this is on, okay. <laughs> oh, that, uh, that was something, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try not to cry, okay. Good morning, respected guests, staff, family, friends, alumni, and fellow graduates. I am absolutely honored to be standing here representing the class of 2017. On behalf <laughs> On behalf of the senior class, I would like to thank you for sharing this momentous occasion with us. It is a very exciting time and yet bittersweet. <sighs> um, graduation is a time of reflecting on the past and looking towards the future. It is a time that we, as graduates, get together for one last time before moving on to bigger and better adventures. This year we have a very unique and exceptional group of students who are graduating. We have been through so much together, and we have changed and grown together. As we look back on four amazing years, it's easy to see that creative arts has played an instrumental role in helping to shape the young men and women we are today. Four years ago, everyone walked into this building for their auditions. We were a large class, I think a little bigger than what we are now. We were young, we were babies, oh my gosh. <laughs> And uh, we really had no idea what to expect from this school. Uh, we were timid freshmen who were lucky enough to find our way to class on time. This school isn't the biggest, but trust me, ask any new student on the first day, they can barely move from being so nervous. Or maybe that was just me, I don't know. Um, friendships quickly developed between students. This was an exciting time in our lives. We had just gone up from eighth grade and we've, we were given new privileges as well as new responsibilities. And by the end of the year, those friendships were strong. 
Okay, so you remember everything I said about how you guys were uh, timid freshmen? Well, guess who was the new guy sophomore year? Duran. Duran. And, 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 and me, I think. I think me, yeah. Um, so yeah, since... <laughs> okay. While I was in my little corner in Italian being an antisocial noob, yeah, you guys were making those friendships stronger and it was easy, and since you guys knew each other already, it was easier for people like me and whoever else was new that year to join in and make friends. Junior year was a time for experimentation. We tried new haircuts, we made new friends, there was a group of us that weren't Teen Pep. And we were the first class ever to uh, have a, a peer group's connections. Yeah. <laughs> um, if there's ever a history book written about this class, you know, try to give us a shout out, you know. <laughs> this class has done a lot. Um, okay, if you guys been following so far, I've been saying every year. You know, next is uh, senior year. Um, Everyone always told me, senior year goes by fast. But I really never imagined it would go this fast. I, I thought this day was just a dream. I, I was not expecting this. I, was like, I woke up this morning. I was like, oh, this, uh, we're doing this today. OK. Ugh. One year. And what a year it has been. We finally did it. We completed 13 years of education. In my case, 14, because I had to go to preschool twice. Um, we finally completed everything in order to graduate, and we're here together for the very last time. And that definitely puts a lot of pressure on me. I'm, I'm standing in front of like more than 200 people. I'm, I'm surprised I haven't like completely lost my mind yet. <sighs> it's it's kind of ironic how someone that's used to being on stage is struggling to read a paper. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, there's something truly wonderful about this school. It's amazing walking down these halls and being able to name each and every face. There's something unique about creative arts. There's a special um, magic, if you would call it that, in our school. And we have been so fortunate in experiencing this magic for four whole years. To the grads of 2017, take this magic and honor it. When I was trying to find inspiring quotes for this speech, I, I struggled to find one that like, spoke to me. And, uh, but I stumbled ac across um, my middle school and elementary friend, uh, Dr. Seuss. And he said, he said, quote, you have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know. You are the guy who will decide where to go. I think Dr. Seuss hit the nail on this one. For the past 13 years of our lives, we've been given information and knowledge, and now it's time to put it to good use. Our teachers and administrators have equipped and prepared us for our futures, which begin as we step out of these doors today. This September, we're not going to come back here for the first day of school, as we've done every single year. We're not going to be excited to see our new schedules, hoping that our friends are in the same class as us. We're not going to be excited to meet new teachers. We each choose a path, and whether it begins tomorrow or in September, things will never be the same again. We have made bonds that will never be broken, and we've made memories that will last a lifetime. As we end one glorious chapter of our lives, a new one begins. We have a fresh blank page ahead of us. And it's up to us to grab our pens and write our own stories. I ask you graduates to take this opportunity to write unforgettable chapters packed with the fulfillment of your dreams and desires. Let us take what we've learned and let it guide us to our futures. Let us build on our experiences to better ourselves and not just us, everyone around us. We hold the key to our futures and we have power inside of us waiting to be unleashed. Getting a diploma this morning is not the end. 
but rather the beginning of something special. It's the beginning of new adventures, new friendships, new memories, and most importantly, a whole lot more parties. <laughs> I would like to say a special thank you for, to the hardworking staff at Canva. There's no other staff that knows almost everyone by name, and not just because we've gathered some late slips every now and then. Uh, we have been influential in, they have been influential in helping us to get to this day. Thank you. It takes a truly special person to be a teacher. Canva is lucky enough to have some of the most special teachers in the world. There is not a, there is not a more caring group of teachers out there. They push you to your limits because they can see what you, re what you are really capable of, even if sometimes you yourself are un unable to see it. They have helped me, as well as my fellow uh, graduates, to get to this day. They have been an integral part of learning inside the classroom, as well as outside of it. In the end, it's not about quizzes or test marks. It's about what you have gained as a person that truly matters. It's about learning more about it's about learning more about yourself and trying to better yourself. And I think the teachers here have done a great job in teaching us that. And I would like to thank them. And you guys thought you guys were stressed this morning? Imagine our parents. This, commems this commencement ceremony can be as difficult for our parents as the graduates. Today, our parents woke up and got ready to see their children graduate from high school. Our graduation was eagerly anticipated, and yet one that brings a few tears. After today, you will be the parents of young men and women who will be sent well prepared into the real world. Their jobs as caretakers are relatively over, and it is time for them to sort of move to this a little bit. I'm not trying to sound rude, I don't know how to, yeah. <laughs> um, and let us, let our true colors shine through. I have been so blessed to have parents who've helped me in every way possible to get here. My mother always told me, books are your friends. Um, and my first reaction to that would be, uh, so you want me to be antisocial and a nerd and that only talks to books. Okay, uh, no. However, as time passed, I started to realize how important education was and how it impacted the people around me. Uh, thank you. Gracias, uh, mami. Te amo un montón. She currently doesn't know anything I'm saying, so I'm going to translate this whole thing later. It's going to take a while. <laughs> um, I would like to thank this time to thank everyone who has helped each and every one of us to get to this day, whether it's a parent, a grandparent, an aunt, an uncle, or even a neighbor. You have inspired and made it possible for us to reach this landmark event. A generous thank you is well deserved. Quote, education is an admirable thing, but I swell to remember from time to time that nothing worth knowing can be taught. The first time I read this, I completely agreed. Never in my entire life, I don't know about you guys, but never in my life will I need to know how to inverse a parabola or any complicated math stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think that's what Oscar Wilde intended. I believe he was referring to something else. There is something much stronger and more valuable than any formula we could have learned in chemistry. It's a special type of bond. It's not ionic, but it is just as powerful. The gift of friendship is something that can never be taught. It is something that is experienced. I have been so lucky in experiencing this gift with some of the most amazing people in the world. We have laughed together. We have cried together. And by that I mean we've laughed so hard that we were basically crying. That counts, right? <laughs> My friends have been there for me when I have needed them the most, and I for them. We've had our ups and downs, but in the end, there's nothing more special than hanging out all day until sunset, just doing the craziest things and having fun. Insider, uh, Cooper River. You guys, yes, okay. <laughs> if by now we haven't learned the gift of friendship, then we really haven't learned anything at all. It doesn't have to involve spending every waking moment together, that'd be sorta of creepy. 
It's a gesture, big or small, that shows someone that you care about them and that you appreciate them in, their, in your life. I know that my fellow graduates have formed these special friendships. We are all very diverse and distinct in our beliefs and ideas. But when you put us all together, something amazing happens. We need to seize our opportunities today. And I believe that's something we have done extraordinar extraordinarily well. <laughs> A family friend once told me to not be the person that others expect me to be, but rather the person that I want to be. And I cannot think of anything better to ask of my fellow graduates than this. I hope you all live your lives to your heart's content and that you take the path in life that leads you to the greatest happiness because in the end, that's all that matters. As for our futures, I hope that our worries stay small, like, like small, like very small, and that our dreams reach the stars because cliche, the sky's the limit. Congrats, graduates of 2017. George, can you come back to the front of the stage, George? Come back. Being a valedictorian is a special honor, being number one in the class. We have a plaque for you, for your hard work. Creative Arts Morgan Village Academy, Cam, New Jersey, proudly presents the valedictorian award for the class of 2017 to George Acevedo Ramos. Uh, I'm up here with Ms. Jacqueline Thornton. We're the advisors for the class of 2017. And uh, never thought this day would be here. Congratulations. Good to see everyone. Uh, good luck to you. Uh, have fun, but be safe. You never know when your time is up. Uh, last Thursday, I went to one of our former alumni, Mar Marquise Baytop's funeral. And uh, he was only 30 years old. And, uh, it, you know, it was sad. Um, so be careful. And uh, you never know. Try to stay in good health. Try to stay in good health. Thank you. We would like to dedicate this song, Mr. Jones and I, to the class of 2017. We are so, so proud of you. And we believe that you will meet with much success in life if you believe it. And for those who are just a wee bit uncertain, just a little bit, listen to the words of this song and be enlightened again. If you believe within your heart, you'll know that no one can change the path that you must go. Believe what you feel. I know you're right because the time has come around when you can say it's yours. Believe that you can go
the start Believe in the magic inside your heart Believe all these things Not because I told you to But believe in yourself You've got to believe in yourself Just believe in yourself As I, as we Believe in To Miss Miss Thornton, I know we're a pain in the butt. I know we're a pain in the butt, and we're not the nicest at times. But we do love you dearly, and we appreciate you for your hard work this year. And Mr. Jones's place, we appreciate you. What a tough act to follow. Let's hear from Miss Thornton. Good morning, everyone. Congratulations, class of 2017. This time is set aside to honor our seniors who made consistent effort to apply for and obtain scholarships and commendations citywide, countywide, and nationally, as well as internationally. They were honored last Friday. However, we want to use this opportunity to honor some of them and also invite some of our donors to come and present their scholarships. I'd like to say that countywide, the Camden County Board of Freeholders recently honored seven of our seniors among the best in the county. And our very own John White <laughs> received the Community Service Award. Thank you, John. Congratulations. Internationally, Canva Jazz Band, led by Mr. Jamal Dickerson, Last week, we turned from a competition all the way in Amsterdam. They were in the international big band competition. And they were the only youth group in a contest that featured adults seasoned in their various arts and crafts. We are very proud to say a number of our seniors participated in this competition including Ayana Herbert, yeah! Jesenia Hernandez, Joshua Sims, Brandon Ramos, Naima Sabri, yeah! Hannah Watkins, as well as Justin Lane. In that major international competition, Canva took third place. Congratulations, Mr. Dickerson. I am proud to announce that our school and the efforts of our seniors has earned us over $78,000 in scholarships. We are very proud of this amount because this amount does not include the institutional scholarships our students are receiving. It does not, these are just scholarships, 
$100, $500, $1,000, $2,000 here and there that our students applied for. Institutionally, a lot of them are getting free tuition. They, they are entitled to that through different programs like the Rutgers Bridging the Gap, the EOF programs. So if you were to add those up, I'm sure we're reaching at least $500,000 in scholarships. So congratulations, class of 2017. We are therefore very proud of our seniors and encourage each and every one of you to remember to continue to work hard, never be too shy, too afraid, or too proud to ask for whatever you may need and for advice. Also, be careful of the company you keep. Our most sincere... Our most sincere gratitude goes to our many donors. Today and every day, we are very thankful for the various organizations, foundations, and individuals who, out of the kindness of their heart and the desire to make a difference in our community, continue to encourage our seniors and all our students to reach for and obtain their dreams. These organizations include the Women of the Dream, the Camden Schools Foundation, the South Jersey Alumni Chapter of the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, the National Sorority of Phi Delta Kappa Incorporated, so many organizations, the Camden High School Alumni Association, Subaru Incorporated, the Camden City School District, Camden Education Association, there are so many of them if you look at your programs today, you will see them named in those programs. So right now, I'd like to take the time to welcome on stage one of our contributors. We know her as our mother, our grandmother, a big auntie. This wonderful, kind-hearted lady is, steady, is a steady fixer in our Canva family. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Delia Brown. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Co Brockington and uh, Mrs. Ayawu for always uh, giving me this privilege of coming to the graduation to present the awards that I do give. And the first award is, is in honor of my brother, Robert M. Ford. Uh, Robbie passed away in 2001. But we both attended Mickle School, which is down on Van Hook Street, it's still there, and it's now um, another school. But Creative Arts originated from Mickle School, and that's Carl Miller Boulevard. Um, Robbie, during his life, faced some difficult times, and our father was in and out of his life, and our father was an alcoholic, which made it Hard. Those of you who have had that in your family, you know how that could be. But through, through it all, uh, Robbie persevered. He uh, was able to go attend Rutgers University in Camden and ended up working with uh, Dyfus in the adoption part. So this award today is given to a young lady and a young man who have persevered through difficulties, but um, they hung in there and they are here uh, today. So I would like to present this from the Ford family to Aisha Jones and Jalen Bell. Both of them will receive $100 and they will receive a plaque which reads Robert M. Ford Scholarship Award presented to, and it has their name, in keeping with the spirit of Robert M. Ford who worked hard to achieve her or his goals and to overcome obstacles. June 2017, Delia Ford Brown and family.
And the, uh, the next awards I am giving are uh, it, from my foundation called Spare Change, Inc. And when I attended Glassburg College back in a day, back in many a day, uh, I had difficulty purchasing textbooks. Now my mother, when we received the letter saying that I was going to go to college, uh, she told me she couldn't afford it and we both cried. But I honor my mother at all times because She scrubbed floors, cleaned people's houses, so I could be here today. Um, so when it, come, when it came time for textbooks, there was hardly any money, so I had to beg, I had to borrow. So that became one of my passions to maybe in life help other people get textbooks. So in the beginning, um, through the grace of God, I would give textbooks using my own funds. But in 2012, I was able to start a foundation which I call Spare Change, Inc. And I raise money, I'm not a good fundraiser, so I solicit my friends and my family and God just blesses me, and this year I have been truly, truly blessed. Um, my scholarship is through an application process, and I give scholarships in Burlington, Camden, and Gloucester County. And um, applicants, we, I have a committee come to my uh, home and I feed them, and they read through the scholarships, and I have a rubric and everything so that they can rank them so that it can be fair. If I could, I would give everyone a scholarship who applied, but I cannot do that. So um, four people that we came up with here at Creative Arts High School, and they will receive a one-time award of $500 are Carrie Fenderson. Naima Hazard. <laughs> Jacinia Hernandez. <laughs> and Viola Scott. So thank you so much, and I ask you to continue to pray for me that God will continue to bless me so that I can give back. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Delia Brown. Let's give her another round of applause, please. Mrs. Brown is here every single Tuesday and other days of the week partaking in different activities for our youth and we are very proud and happy to have her every time. She is a, truly a member of the Canva family. I now welcome onto the podium representing her organization, the NJF Lead Incorporated, an organization that sponsors male and female students who matriculate at an HBCU institution. Please welcome the Executive Director of NJF Lead Incorporated, Mrs. Carolyn James Weeks. Good morning. Um, I brought with me our treasurer this year. This is Gaylord Simons. Uh, she will be writing checks to these young ladies um, 
we've, in past years, we've also had young men from creative and performing, I still call you creative and performing arts. I uh, know you're creative arts Morgan Village now. Um, but we are just delighted to be able to come today to honor three young people. We are having a, a fundraising activity this Sunday at the Crown Plaza here in Cherry Hill where these students and nine other students will each receive an award. Um, I want to take this opportunity um, to mention many people here in Camden knew uh, Mrs. Cecilia Brown Cannon. She worked in the district for 48 years here in Camden. She was in charge of your Title I money and many of the older administrators know her. This uh, foundation was her idea and uh, upon her death, she left a great endowment for the foundation. So we have been privileged to be able to give money every single year. The um, most important thing about this scholarship is it's repetitive. And what that means is when these young people go to college, for all four years that they're in college, they will get another scholarship. The only thing we ask them to do is keep a decent average, uh, stay focused, which is the most important thing that we have to do, and just let us know, keep in touch with us, so that each year we'll have your addresses to send you the money every single year for four years. And we are just, just so grateful that we can do this. Um, both, Ms., both Ms. Simon and I are graduates of HBCUs. Ms. Simons graduated from Fayetteville University, and I graduated from Cheney University of Pennsylvania in Pennsylvania. And um, Mrs. Cannon was a graduate of Cheney also, and we really, really, really think it is so important to keep HBCUs open. Historically black colleges, Historically black colleges have a really, really, really firm foundation in this country, need to be supported and need to be honored. Um, I don't think everyone knows that the majority of minority students come from HBCUs and they are the reason that our culture is surviving in the United States of America. And at this time, it's very difficult in the United States of America for us to know who we are, what we are, and why we are here. God put us here. As our ancestors were here, we are the foundation of the United States of America. And these young people, whether they go to a majority school or an HBCU, we are the foundation of America. And I just thank the parents, the grandparents, the neighbors, and the villages of this Camden community that are supporting these young people. Um, I want to thank Dr. Code Rockington. Um, she and I are sorority sisters, and I know her, I knew both of her parents, and I say this every year. She had the most phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal parents. Um, her father worked in Philadelphia with me, and I, I, just, I just love her so much. And uh, Mrs. Anyahu, and I learned how to say her name better today, I want to thank her. Um, could you both come forward, please? Thank you. Um, when Dr. Cobra Rockington told you that Mrs. Anyahu actually goes out and finds these children and traps them. She's not kidding. Um, I don't know why our children don't want to be given things, um, but to get things, to, to get someone to give you things, you have to fill out a piece of paper sometimes. So I say, I want to thank her really. Um, we've never had so many young people from your school get our scholarship. It's usually a fight, but I want to thank both of them. Uh, they are very, very supportive of our organization. And um, I'd like to have the three young ladies. I'm sorry this year we don't have a young man, 
but Ayana Herbert. Jessenia Hernandez. And uh, Hannah Jubilee Watkins. Yes. Um, they will each receive $1,000. As I said, they will receive, as we do our fundraising, somewhere between $750 and $1,000 every single year that they remain at an HBCU. And we thank them. We thank you. And um, the only other thing I ask of these three young ladies, um, I had three children in college at one time, all at one time. Um, so I just want to say to you, when you call home and to speak to your parents, do me a favor, say something other than I need money. <laughs> Could you kind of say, hello, how are you? You don't even have to say I love you. Just Say something other than I need money, okay? Thank you all so very much, and, and please honor these young ladies. Thank you. Another round of applause for the NJF Lead Incorporated. Thank you so much, Mrs. Carolyn J. Weeks. We are so proud, so proud of our seniors. Um, just to mention here, if you look at your program and if you do the math correctly, Ayanna Herbert earned up to over $15,000 worth of scholarships. $15,000. Most seniors applied, applied, applied. The, most of them applied for at least five or six scholarships. Ayanna applied for 14 scholarships. And at this time, I'd like to welcome to the podium a neighbor, a friend, an educator. She answers our call whenever we reach out to her, ever so willing to support us here at Canva. She is a member of the Class of 1966 Alumni Association of Camden High School. We invite Mrs. Susan Dunbar Bay to present her scholarships. Good morning, parents, friends, and the great class of 2017. It's really an honor to be here today. Um, yes, I am a member of the Camden High School Class of 1966 Alumni Association. And um, we just celebrated our 50th class reunion in 2016 in October. And we decided we needed to go a little bit further than Camden High School. So this year, we decided to give um, some cash awards to Morgan Village Create Creative Art Canva, um, the Big Picture Learning School, and also um, MedEase. No, what's the other one? Brim. OK, because all of these students support Camden High School activities. and. In honor of our class reunion, we decided to give two awards to each of the students. And I went to um, Brim Baccalaureate the other day, and the, one of the speakers was talking about um, doing something that you enjoy and you'll never work a day in your life. Well, when I went to Camden High School, I was a cheerleader. And I'm still a cheerleader for these awesome students in Camden. Give yourself a hand. I, I, 
You know, I live in this community, and I was a substitute teacher here at Canva, and I have a special feeling here for, the, for Dr. Brockington and this awesome staff. Let's give them another round of applause. When I was here, I spent time with the, um, with Dr. Um, Overton students. I was here for about 20 days, and I fell in love with Shakila, <laughs> Mahogany's, Rashawn, and even my little bratty cousin who's a dancer, Nairi. <laughs> yeah, she's my cousin, so you know, you, you never know what you may be, but you know what? These are the greatest teachers, the greatest staff, the greatest students, and I encourage you to always be the best that you can be. You don't know what life has out there for you, but the only thing that I'd like to tell them, put God first. Put God first. But anyway, I know the stu I remember when I was on stage at uh, graduating 50 years ago, that was a long time that, um, we just wanted to hurry up and get through the program so we could get out. So come on up here, Jacenia Hernandez and Deron Wharton. On behalf of the Camden High School Class of 1966 alumni, we're gonna give them each $200 gift card to help with books or whatever they want. So congratulations. I love you all, and I will always love these children of Camden and support them any way I can. And listen, um, parents and students, vote! What a great opportunity to hear so many awards and scholarships our students have received. I'd like to take a moment. We always um, appreciate those who come and give back. To any alumni who might be in the audience today, I know I saw a Morgan State representative. If you were seeing any of our alumni, and what other schools you might have been representing. The lights are so bright. Oh, I see some other, oh, hey. Great to see you all. Thank you, alumni. It's appreciative. And next year, we look forward to celebrating you all when you come back to give to the class of 2018. At this time, we're going to have uh, class gifts being, no, I apologize. Before we do that, we have a special selection, Isaiah Dixon Wahid. And following this presentation, we'll have Viola Scott and Kelsey Bolden, and then we will hear from our salutatorian. Um, Asia, are you in here? I don't know if she's in here. Or not. Oh, she's right there. She's... We need another mic. She's singing too. This song is called Better Days Are Coming. Um, it's a gospel song. It's dedicated to the class of 2017. Hello? Hello?
This is kind of impromptu, but um, I would like to present two gifts to um, two staff members here at Creative Arts that have had such an impact on my life personally, and that would be to, oh, Daddy, can you bring the gifts? Oh, he's right there, okay. <laughs> and that would be to Mrs. Anyanwu and like everyone said before, I've never met someone that has worked harder than Mrs. Anyawu, and she, tr she truly cares about all of the students here. And I've never, I've been to, <laughs> throughout my high school career, I have been to 
three different high schools, and this is the only school that I've ever felt so loved and cared for. And that's because of Ms. Sonia Wu, Mr. Dickerson, all the staff members, Dr. Brockerton. So if I had more money, <laughs> I, I would get everybody gifts. <laughs> but I would just like to present this to her because I want her to know how much I love her. And Mr. D. <laughs> I don't want to offend my dad, but I like to think of him as my second dad because <laughs> I love him so much. And I wasn't able to perform in the band this year because of certain um, personal things, but I still love him. He has had a significant impact on my life, both mentally and musically. And I've always learned in his class that it's not about music, it's about life. So here you go. I love you guys. <laughs> guys, I'm number two, yay! <clears throat> so, I know at graduation, nobody cares about anybody else's kids, but their own, but, yeah, that's my other moms, by the way. All right, so I only get to do this speech once, and I worked my butt off for the spot. So. I wanted to say that just so that I might be an inspiration to not only my class, but classes after me. First and foremost, I want to let it be known that everybody said, oh, senior year is gonna be the greatest, the easiest, the most unstressful year. That's a lie. Everyone that ever told me was flat out lying. I don't know what they thought, what type of senior year they went through because I didn't go through the same one. It was the most difficult and stressful year of high school. That not only I, but I believe many of us can say, Shekaila, the other number two. Um, it not only tested my brains, but my morals, my mental strength, my dignity, my heart, and ability to keep on trying when things got too hard. There were times when I thought, There were times when I thought things couldn't get any harder, and of course they did exactly that. <laughs> then I have to gather my focus, remember my goal, and get right back on track. No one really understands how difficult it is to keep up with school, maintain your class rank, be involved in extracurricular activities, be involved in school-related activities, take multiple college classes, have a job, maintain healthy relationships, keep up with health responsibilities, all the while doing everything that needs to be done to get in not one, not two, but 17 colleges. It's nearly impossible. This is why I live by the quote, to be a great, you have to do what greats do. For me, there is no other option. I must do great, I will be great. I will forever strive for nothing less but greatness. And I feel that this is a quote all of us should live by. Y'all are all great. Sorry. Graduation can't be the end of our hard work. We can't stop because there will always be someone better than us, someone with something that we don't have. And I encourage you to have the same outlook. The only thing you can do is work harder and strive to be better than the next person. I will never deter. I will never fail. I will never quit. I will stay focused, I will stay hungry, I will surprise you, and I will be great. Not great, but a great. Because I have determination, determination to breathe. Look at it like this. If you were drowning, you will only be thinking of breathing. Not food, not health, not sleep. Just breathing. One thing someone once told me was, until you want to succeed as badly as you want to breathe, you will never be successful. Oh, sorry. Personally, I'm afraid to fail. To not set an example for my siblings that can also be great. Afraid to not use this functioning brain. Afraid to put myself and my abilities to waste. Afraid to let my parents down. 
to not be all, to not be all they taught me to be. I want to thank them for my, mind, my mindset, for giving me this thing, this thing that will never give me the chance to fail. Thank you, Dad, for all the unconditional love and support no matter what. You always had my back and everything I ever needed was at my fingertips because of you. And I'm so grateful because of one day I will be able to set an example for it and love my children the way you did me. <sighs> oh. Thank you, Mom, for all, the <laughs> for all the tough love that has taught me so many lessons and prepared me for the real world. You taught me how, not only how to be a woman, but a good person. And these qualities I will take with me for the rest of my life. Thank you both for not only creating me, but teaching me the unteachable. I love you. <laughs> not only have I learned from my parents throughout high school, but being in school itself has taught me many things. These things may not only help me, but all of us. <laughs> oh, where am I? Um, hold on. Just know that no one is going to hand you anything. Anything you want, you have to work for. Because no one likes you like that. <laughs> Another piece of advice that may help us all in our journey is to not be afraid, to go with the flow. Everything that is supposed to happen will happen. Despite all your thoughts, all your wants, all your feelings, just be cool with the fact that no matter what, you will be okay. You're still going to go home in that comfy bed, wake up the next day, and be all right. So with that being said, don't be afraid to take risks and don't be afraid to be great because only greats took a leap of faith. The last piece of major advice I learned in high school is to accept myself. Know that you have qualities that only you can possess, things that only you can do. You may feel that someone is better than you at something, but they don't have the same spark as you, the same passion as you, the same hunger you have. These may be qualities that you don't like about yourself, but you can always work on yourself. Always accept yourself, because if you do not, no one will. I learned this from Marching Van. Mr. Sibri, I saw you somewhere. There you go. <laughs> I was a part of the dance line. Woo -woo. <laughs> Where every dancer was a great dancer. We had a reputation to keep. And I, def I did it not at the time feel I was the greatest dancer on the line, but I found my spark. My emotions, my facial expressions, they not only got me noticed, but made me a better dancer. <laughs> I knew that no one else could make the facial expressions I did, nor could they possess the same qualities I had, even though we all agree. Last but not least, I want to say thank you. Thank you on behalf of the senior class of 2017. So first, our parents for giving us advice and unconditional love. Next, I know she annoyed because we keep saying her name, Miss Anyabu. For leading us in our journey towards college, giving us all the tools that we needed to succeed and exposing us to life after high school. To Miss Mogul, woo woo. For preparing us for what college would be like and letting us know that all the underlying factors that goes into the college experience. Lastly, to everyone else who had an impact on us throughout our high school lives, thank you all for the hard work you put into making us all great people. Thank you, and remember, guys, your lives, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Don't forget to take risks, live life, and have fun. Shout out to my other number two, Shakaila Clark. Adelina, if you will return to receive your plaque, and congratulations for being val a salutatorian of the class of 2017. Is this your phone? Is this your phone? When the students, or now graduates, Proceed out of the auditorium. I'm asking all guests to please remain in your seats and out of the aisles. The graduates are going to be reporting directly to the gymnasium. You can meet them there or outside. 
They need to receive some important documents in the gymnasium, but again, you can meet them there, take pictures, and or meet them right outside the door. There are doors that exit right to the parking lot from the gymnasium. It is now time for their final performance. They're going to present our school song.